In this video section, we will have a quick look at, the, at contrasting exponential distribution with Poisson distribution and uh, look at an example just to be aware of the differences between probabilities and, uh, and uh, distribution. So here is exponential distribution and it is no different from any other statistical textbooks that discuss exponential distribution. What is uh, what we want to sort of localize here is to say that our uh, we are we are looking at a Q system with an arrival rate of lambda, and we are talking about the inter-arrival time. Uh, let's call it random variable x, and that variable, right? That random variable measuring the inter-arrival time is assumed to have exponential distribution. Then it will look like one of these curves, depending on lambda, all right? Where the mean will be uh, 1 over lambda. So the mean of x will be 1 over lambda. All right, and that will be the average inter-arrival time. So arrival rate, example, if it's 1 per minute, right? the per minute is not written here, but it can be per hour per second, but we can attach to it so long as we are consistent in our, our interpretation. So 1 customer per minute, then we follow the purple curve here, which means the average of this curve, because exponential is a continuous distribution, we need to uh, integrate, right? So if we follow through the integration, we'll find that the average will be one over one, and we get one minute being the average separation between customers. Quick example, if it is half a customer per minute, then the average will be two, minutes so in other words every two minutes then we will see another customer on average on average now another thing is exponential distribution for inter-arrival time they occur in practice with um independent participants the customers who spontaneously want the service in this uh, from the server so we have this huge group of potential customers in the calling population Right, and they may not, may or may not want the service at a particular time, and spontaneously, any individual right, will suddenly want the service and then begin the arrival process. So we talked about that earlier on, and now it's putting all the uh, distribution and probabilities uh, in place to 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 have a bigger picture look at the whole situation. So that is for exponential distribution. And let's look at Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution, on the other hand, is discrete distribution. So we see that at every uh, given number here, zero, zero customers per <clears throat> fixed interval. So if we are looking at the rate, then suppose we say every hour, right? Every hour, how many customers arrive? Zero or one or two or three or four. So for a busy, uh, for busy traffic, high traffic, uh, every hour we may have <clears throat> ten customers coming into the bank, right? So in the case of busy hours, we would use lambda equals to ten to describe that scenario. Now remember the x-axis. This is a distribution. Uh, it's not a time series chart. The x-axis is. Do you see? Uh, uh, sorry, the number of customers per fixed time interval coming into the bank. And the y-axis is the amount of time or proportion that you see that event happening. So for 10 customers coming into the bank on an hourly basis, is that frequent? Wow, it's the most frequent in the case of this light blue curve, right? Uh, but it is not frequent at all in the case of the purple curve whose average arrival rate is four. Now, if you tell me that every hour on average four customers arrive and then you say, what's the chance that the next hour 10 customers will arrive? I would say the chance is very slim, isn't it? Yeah, and that is correctly reflected by the purple dots here. Right. So if finally you uh, let's look at the yellow curve, yeah? the yellow curve says that every hour on average, one customer comes into the banking hall, which means it's a it's a maybe the, the low days or the low hours of the bank. And in that case, if you ask, what's the chance that zero customer comes in? 
very high, right? Very high. Zero to one, very high. Two customers come in, also high, but not as high as one because the average is one. How about 10 customers coming into the bank uh, per hour on the day that the average is one per hour? Unlikely, right? So it's like very, very low uh, on the yellow curve. So all these are kind of correctly depicting the real life situations. If we correctly supply the value lambda to reflect whether it's a busy day or a loud day. So that's about Poisson distribution. Now, just like exponential distribution, it can work with outside of the queue system on the inter-arrival time. Inter-arrival times are all outside. Yeah? They are measured outside of the queue system. Service time, that's measured inside the queue system. And we can also have service times following exponential. Now, based on the theorem from statistics, if the time follows exponential, then the rate follow Poisson. So Poisson distribution can be applied outside on the arrival rate. Arrival rates are all outside. They are like about to come in. Um, and service rates, which happen inside the queue system. So Poisson distributions can happen on both sides as well. So oftentimes we might be confused because we saw that uh, from the set of queue system formulas, we also have probability of n customers in the queue system, in the queue system. So that probability is a different probability. It is reflecting on the proportion of times, if you randomly sample many, many times, that you see n customers inside the system. Yeah, okay, that's first of all, it's inside the system. Secondly, it is uh, about observing the number of customers inside the system. It's not about rate of customers. And it's, a not, it's not about inter-arrival time or service time. Okay, so let's look at this example to be to hopefully clarify the whole uh, comparison between the probabilities and distributions. So let's let's just have um, a, a queue first, All right? Just it's easy because we just have to have two blocks. Uh, one is the queue and one is the server, right? So let's again, and I will encourage you to when you sort of approach a question, check that you understand fully and clearly which is the server which is the customer so here uh joe ferris is a stock trader you know this will be like what the layman will describe right our job is to pierce through the, the words and say oh i see such and such or what is what what and what uh it's the server the, the others is the customer so here in this question what is the server what is the server well joe ferris is a, a stock trader on the floor is the floor the server is new york state uh, New York State Stock Exchange, the server. Well, let's pause and keep on the shelf for a while and read on. Stock transactions arrive at a mean rate of 20 per hour. Hmm. Remember? So the word arrive suggests that most likely whatever arrives must be the customer, right? So let's say the customer is the stock transaction. And we are being told that the lambda is 20 per hour. So that's nice. That's nice. So let's write that down. Lambda, 20 transactions per hour. Each transaction received by Joe, received by Joe, requires processing of two minutes, which means that, first of all, Joe must be the server, and there is only one server. Yeah, okay. Number two is that, so k equals to one, because there's only one server. Number two is that uh, one over mu is two minutes. Yeah, because it is processing time, not the rate of processing. So, so far so good. We can continue by assuming, because we weren't told whether the arrival distribution is, uh, is, is exponential or, and, and or the service distribution is exponential. So we may make assumptions, but making more assumptions without validation from the question is not really a good idea unless we are forced to. So let's see what the question wants from us.